Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Algorithm Minds. My name is Asan Khurram and in this channel I teach programming skills in MATLAB, Python and R programming. I also teach theoretical concepts as well as practical programming skills in data science, data analysis. So I request you to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell icon button. I have been producing series of videos, tutorial videos on MATLAB which is specifically designed for those people who are just beginning to learn MATLAB programming. I have taught you a lot about MATLAB programming starting from how to define a matrix in MATLAB, array indexing, how to use specific functions in MATLAB. Uh, I have teach you about loops, uh, solving ordinary differential equations and system of linear equations and also if and else statement. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you about functions in MATLAB. So I will specifically teach you how you can define your own functions in MATLAB, what are pre-built functions and what are the functions that you can define yourself. That being said, let's move on and actually discuss about uh, some basics first. You know, there are many different data types or classes that you can work with in MATLAB software. We have logical uh, data type that has values of zeros and one. We have a uh, character which contains uh, string values, character values. We have numeric data type in which we have a double data type. Then we have tabular data. Then we have cell structure. Then we have structure format. Finally, we have function handle. Moving on to our functions, how you can actually create functions in MATLAB. Both scripts and functions allow to reuse sequence of command by storing them in a program file. Scripts are the simpler type of program since they store command exactly as you would type them at the command line. Function provide more flexibility primarily because you can pass input values and return output values. That being said, this is the uh, notation, this is the format that we are going to use in order to define a function in MATLAB. So output 1 could be considered as a variable 1, output 2 could be considered as a variable 2 and so on. Okay, and we will pass it as a within the square bracket. Then equal to, we will define the function name, my function, and after the function, we will put round brackets and within those round brackets, we will define what kind of values this function will take in order to do the processing. So that's a basic definition of function and how you can actually incorporate in MATLAB. We are going to exercise that concept in a moment. So this type of function must be defined within a file, not at a command line. So that being said, the function should always be defined either in a file uh, in a script, okay? So the function should always be defined in a script. It should not be defined in a command windows. Often we store a function in its own file. So basically what will happen is that uh, we will create a function. I will teach you how to create your own function file. So it will store in the directory and whenever you call the function, it will be executed from that directory uh, without actually having to write the code again and again. I will show you that in a moment too as well. So this is a general notation of the functions, how you can define functions. So if your function returns one output, you can specify output name after the function keyword. So in that example function, this is how you define a function. Function my output is equal to my function, which is the name of the function. Then within the round bracket, we will pass the input argument that the function would take. If your function returns more than one output, for example, uh, you are performing some calculation in the function and the function has to return more than one variable. It has to return two variables, three variables. In that case, this is the notation we are going to use. 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, which are the variable names you can account for. 1 for one variable name, 2 for two variable name, and 3 for three variable name. Then we will equal to sign and is equal to my function x. If there is no output, you can omit it. So uh, in case you are performing some calculation, the function and the function has written not one value, it has to return two variables, three variables. So in that case, for example, you were constructing a function that has to calculate the square root and it also has to calculate the uh, cube of that value. In that case, it has to return two values. Now in this, this case, you will write uh, one comma two is equal to my function comma uh, within the round bracket, the input arguments. That, that's how it is, okay? And finally, uh, if there's a function that doesn't return any output or its function is only to 
prints and certain functions, same values, then in that case, you can use empty square brackets. So that's how we are going to define a function. Function name, valid function name follows the same rule as variable names. They must start with a letter and can contain letter, digits, or an underscore. If your function accepts an input, enclose their names in parentheses after the function name, separate into with comma. So basically it says that, uh, for example, for a certain type of calculation, you need three types of input, uh, A, B, C. So in that case, you will uh, put A, B, C within the input arguments and separate it by comma. So that's a general definition of function. Let's move on to MATLAB environment. Uh, then discuss this. Okay, so let's say we do declare an x variable whose value is 5. Okay, now there's some build pre built function that we can actually use in MATLAB. Okay, and but there are other functions as well which can be also uh, do uh, and write on our own. So, less of all, let's uh, move on, just clear that. We declare a variable x is equal to 5, okay? And now I will create a function that will calculate the factorial of 5, okay? So how we are going to do that? I will, uh, this is the thing, okay? So this is the function we have created in MATLAB environment. So this is the function. So how you are going to define a function? You will write function. This is the notation of function writing, okay? You have like function f is equal to whatever the function name you want to give to the function, then the input variable, okay? And then within the function body, you will perform all the calculation you want to do. If you notice that uh, within the function body, we are actually calculating the factorial, then assigning it to value f. The same f will be taken as output. So whatever the calculation has been done within the function f will be returned as an output. So in that case, we will write simply write f a t of x as a variable name. Then we will call the function f a c t r. Then we will pass the input argument. In that case, we are passing the input argument as. So let me run this code for you. So now you can see that it has successfully calculated the factorial. So that's how you declare a function in MATLAB and then uh, perform the calculation. So this is input argument. This is the function name and this process is called calling a function. Okay. So, and remember that you always have to declare function at the end of the script. Okay. You can't just simply uh, call the function after it has been declared. It has to be at the end of the file or, or the script, okay? So that's how you create a function. You will write function, that is a generic notation. Then we will write output variable, then equal to sign, then the function name, and finally, uh, the input argument. And finally, you will perform the calculation and update its value. Now keep that in mind. This value can be changed to any variable, okay? For example, instead of n, I can write a, and I have to change subsequently in the body of the function here. So it will take the input argument, okay? So that's what it means, okay? So that's how you define a function in MATLAB. That being said, let's have another function that calculates the square of value. So remember always function has to be put at the end of the script. So we have an X and uh, this is the function body. We define the function, then we write the output value equal to sign function name. This can be uh, taken any function name. For example, I can simply use uh, com underscore square and input variable. And this is how Y is equal to X power two. That being said, we will now calculate SQ square of X is equal to within the bracket we'll pass the input argument. Now we run this code now it has calculated the square of five also as well. So this is how you can uh, actually define a function. Now let's move on and take another example. 
this is here i have created a function that takes multiple inputs and gives multiple outputs so this is a function that gets or that gives you four outputs and it takes in two input arguments it takes an array a and array b as an input argument and after taking the input argument it will calculate the sum of all elements of array a and it will also calculate the average value of all elements of array a in the same way it calculates the sum of array b sum of all elements of array b and it also calculates the average okay and finally uh, when you are done with the function body you have to actually write and end okay and this is how you can actually define multiple inputs and multiple outputs so some a and average a are calculated here and some b and average b are calculated here so we are simply going to now right now we are simply going to call the function here we have a and we have b so a is an array of elements that has five elements in it and b is an array of element that has five elements in it and we are calling function here so these are the outputs we have defined four outputs so there are going to be four outputs declare here is equal to sign when we call the function and pass input argument a comma b and finally we will display the result by using fprintf function uh, passing two input argument the first one is a string with percentage 2f which can actually replaces the uh, sum a value in the same way we will print other values as well so that's how you actually do or write functions in MATLAB. Let me just run this code for you. So now you see that it has calculated the value. Now there is another concept of function handle. So basically it's simple just is in to put it in a simpler context. It is just like renaming a function. Okay. So for example, let's say we have x is equal to 5. Now you say the y is equal to x. Now the same value of y will be assigned to so the same value of x will be assigned to y. So this is another way of uh, like assigning a name to a function and we do it by using at the rate sign. So we have a function which calculates uh, the square root here which is defined at the end of the script and then we are uh, creating a function handle by using at the rate sign and the function name. Now, instead of actually calling this function compute square, we are simply going to call f and pass the input argument a or use in that case we said four. So that's how you actually uh, create function handle. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions regarding functions or how to create functions, Feel free to write down your comment. I will be happy to help you out. I hope this tutorial videos have been helpful. And if you have any other topic in your mind that I should uh, produce a tutorial on, feel free to write down your comment and suggestions. That's it for now. Thank you for joining me and I will catch you soon in the next video.